Hello fellow writers, this is Tutorial Joe. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom template in Final Draft. It's very easy. Alright, so we're going to start new from stationary. Um, Dramatist Guild. Let's go with the uh, musical just for laughs. Alright, so the first thing I do when I write a script is I look at this, or this is before I knew how to do a template. I would have to go through here and delete it all and then start writing again from scratch. And then the annoying thing is, is it smart type or is it, uh, yeah, usually in smart type, Bill and Jane will be in here. So what I always did was I would, they would be here and I would delete them clicking there. I don't have to do that here, so that's good. The other thing I would have to do for every single one is go into the title page and type in my name and uh, contact information. So that's the biggest pain in the butt, and that's what we're going to fix today. So let's fix that right here. And I'm going to put in a fake address, 123 Tutorial Street. And we won't bother putting the rest of it. Five 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 and Toriel Joe at Gmail, which is the actual email for this account. If anyone's interested. All right. So now, what's great about this is once I save this, uh, what's down here? All the characters and stuff like that. So you know you can change all of this. So basically, you want to get this template to be what at the baseline of what you're going to use all the time. So I'm not going to worry about that. The biggest thing for me has always been having to come in here and change this. And of course, you know, it only takes 20 seconds, but it's still it's still a pain to have to come in here and do that every single time. So that's done. So here's where it gets tricky. File. No, you have to close this first. You have to close the title page first. Come to here. Save as. Now instead of final draft document, sign it as, uh, save it as a final draft template and change it to uh, that, cut out the untitled part. Uh, now you can save it to anywhere, but just to make life easier for you, save it to the desktop. And bam, there you go. So uh, here's my crowded desktop. Now you want to go to computer. You want to go to your C drive. You want to go to program files. Final draft. Um, stationary. All right, so this is where all the templates are stored. So then you go to scripts, and these are all the templates. So now you can do one of two things here. If you know you're always going to use your your new, t new template that you made, you can just go ahead and replace it. So I can go ahead and where's that template I just saved? Right here. I can just bring it in and drop it in, and it says move and replace. And I can just, uh, yeah, whoops. So there we go. Um, I clicked an extra thing there, but it replaced it. So now every time I open up the musical, Drama to Skilled musical template, it will come up with what I had. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that you can always rename it and have it be a different station you know a different stationary you don't have to replace what was there already um, but now I come in here new from stationary Dramatist Guild musical and look it's blank which is what we had done before now we go to the title page and there we go there's my contact information so it's fairly easy that's how you do it um, so yeah this has been tutorial Joe if you have any questions let me know, and uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe, please.